the star celebration. So, you know, immediately I'm hearing, give yourself your own recognition here. It's Leo's, okay? Um, this is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. That's exactly what the Ace of Pentacles is. Ace of Pentacles is literally... Uh, a, a sh it's a long-term plan you know I'm an accountant so I always think short-term long-term and short-term um, short-term in accounting is a year and so this ace of pentacles to me is a duration it's still long-term for personal growth right for personal things that we desire but it's it's a span of a year and this is the efforts either you've been putting or will begin to put that actually requires some planning which is why um, Spirit is saying the timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. So it's the right time because that's what eclipses do. It's it, it's the right time. So um, you really stick to your star. Your star is your north node. And this is about aligning back to you. And anytime the star energy shows up, it's because it's time. It's a renewal. It's a, time. It's a period to be able to renew ourselves and align our soul and our spirit back to where it needs to be. Um, so let's see what your soul's transitions are. This is the soul transition for Leo. Disconnecting and incoming messages. So you are in need of reprieve. Take some much needed time alone for health, healing, and rejuvenation. And I think that's from the disconnecting from that devil energy. So any attachments that just kind of been burdening, burdening you. And for some of you, it's that three of pentacles energy that I was seeing where it's just... Um, I think there was a lot of efforts put into something, whether it's a job or a relationship, and it's almost like it depleted you. And I think this is where the time to heal and rejuvenate is needed because it's almost like recognizing that it it, it kind of um, drained you. And here, incoming messages, there is a message of significant importance coming to you that you may not have been expecting. Listen intently to what is being said. And, you know, a lot of times when we align to our star, usually it comes through our emotional body. I'm very big on always trusting your intuition. The emotional body is your intuition. So um, do listen. All right. So let's see what you're going to, what does Leo's have to allow for December? You guys obviously have been probably getting signs and synchronicities. That's usually incoming messages as well. So here, I allow myself to be in the moment. Yeah. You know, this is about being present. I think once we start being present, we start to value things more. And I think that's what allows for this fresh new beginning, these aces. Because now we're... we're it, we are intently paying attention to our 3D life and we're intently paying attention to our emotions. So let's see what you have to surrender. Oh, oh God, Dios, that's a lot. I'm not taking all this. I'm going to do it again for one card, please. This, all right. Surrender defensiveness and surrender non-action. Hmm. So I think this this both to me feels like that devil energy. Um, so defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. And then and I and it could be someone towards you. So it doesn't have to be you, even though this is your reading, Leo's. You guys again, you guys put but the characters where they fit, you know, but my focus is you, okay? So surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. And I think this is that needing that that validation, that, that three of pentacles. But we're always showing, 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 and um, needing that. It's like center of attention, right? That three of pentacles is always like a center of attention kind of energy. And that would be you, Leos. But... It doesn't always have to be a negative thing in the sense where you need it. It's more of like your language of love where you like people to appreciate. And I, I don't know a Leo who doesn't like to be praised. So 
especially dating a Leo. I've dated a Leo and it was a constant praise. Like they just enjoy to be praised, praised, praised. And so, you know, it's just one of those things. It's your language of love for some of you and some, you know, obviously you can, can take it in a more detox way that can probably create some of this defensiveness. Um, but for some of you where it's your person defensive or a situation that's defensive, non-action is the best, is the best solution here, right? So now is the time to be still and not act. So it changes the response. So being more present, which also helps your emotions and how you're processing it and not getting into either that devil energy or reactive to the person in or the situation in that devil energy, if you guys know what I'm saying. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Let's get more energies for December for Leos. You know, I love this card, Ace of Wands, and this deck is called, called, you know, called Passion Ignited. And I always associate this energy, Ace of Wands, with you Leos because, I don't know, it's just something about your fire. And of course... Leos never fail to not show up in their own reads because that's how strong and powerful Leos are. And here you go with the sun. So there's a lot of aces, my God. So now you have the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups, and the ace of wands. Let's see if any other aces. Oh my God, again, the ace of pentacles and the other aces here. So this is really a new beginning. I think the clarity and the illumination that's coming from your own energy, right? embodying your own strength leos and knowing that you can illuminate anything and kind of take charge and bring healing and solutions because the sun illuminates so it brings solutions whether all this energy especially that devil energy if you don't become your own shadow then therefore everything illuminates right if you know what's the opposite of the sun it's the moon so if you become the shadow then everything gets all crazy right which we do have some conflict and defeat here with the five of swords so you know there is a need for resolution here and i think it's it's a matter of staying focused with what the goal is and that's really what i'm feeling is this energy here we have taurus energy doesn't surprise me taurus has appeared almost i think in every read and the eclipse was in Taurus. So there was a lot of fixed energy, which a lot of the other elements, earth, you know, all the, all of, all the other elements, why am I having such a hard time speaking today? All the other elements will have a hard time transitioning um, in from this earth energy that can really be very stagnant, very firm and, you know, Leo's, you guys let's just like to go and, and just get things done. But this has a lot to do with your institution. So like I said, it's either a commitment or an actual job interference or something to that nature or something that has to do with belief systems, um, family dynamics, uh, for for sure, like cultural, cultural dynamics that um, may be conflicting at this moment. Third eye for me always is a mirror energy. So what I'm getting from this mirror energy and anytime it shows up it's because it's a reflection of where we are and this has become I feel this Taurus energy really has to do with the eclipse because it's now it's the mirror right it's like saying hey this is your shadow and I think that's really what's being illuminated here so you can get back to your sun get back to your light and stay focused don't um don't steer away from your course beautiful ten of um cups with the hermit exactly stay wise stay focused on the goal here leo and let's see what do we got here so give me one of this ace of wands one of this ace of wands Oof. this is about abundance the empress and queen of pentacles so there's a lot of for a lot of you this is financial abundance, long-term investments, long-term planning. For others of you, this is an actual person um, who you hold to high regard and really want to work things out with. Um, maybe that's where all the flashing comes, you know, where you're really, a person like this can kind of um, mirror back the shadow size of you where maybe you're not feeling where it may bring up some of that devil energy insecurities or 
are areas where we didn't work on. And that could be some of the reflecting that's happening. So I'm going to get more information. So Leo's bear with me um, with this reading because the energies have been very intense. So they, this re these readings are going to be a bit long because I'm trying to dive deeper into what's happening because I do feel a lot of so internal um, shifts. They're internal, right? they're deep. And whenever I get into these energies, you know, this is why I get so old because, you know, even within myself, I'm, there's so much coming through in my channeling that it's hard to, to explain it all. So, and then I have to feel the energy in order to be able to um, communicate it. So let's see this Empress, um, Empress energy here. So give me more of this Empress energy. I mean, I'm really loving that energy. So we've got the world and the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of people here. I really just feel the way this is about how you feel about something or your commitment to something. You know, these are very committed energies. Ace of Wands, there's just so much passion here. And so this is a turning point, right? This is a new chapter, emotionally invested. You're emotionally invested. So whether it's a project or something where you're actually taking action towards, very excited for, um, it could be the beginning of something, but you're definitely very excited. Give me more of this Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. So definitely leaving something behind. I think this is where the transitional period is in terms of your emotions, right? So here, something you're emotionally excited, but it requires you to change something about you emotionally from the past. And I think it has to do with your the way you respond. You respond, right? Your defensiveness, or at least not focusing on the way other people respond to you. And this, this page of Pentacles in the bottom gives me this um, message of being strategic in terms of um, the steps you take towards this this abundance. I think it's also the exchange with the people involved. And um, I think your focus also needs to always be fresh because what happens is because it's a page of pentacles, this, if you <laughs> don't stay calm, Leos or aren't thoughtful and and become reactive, then this can interfere with the progress of the project or the communication or the commitment or the investment you're making. So let's carry on with the sun here. Why the sun spirit? There goes the page of pentacles, right? So I think the illumination, we, you know, I really think you're, you're showing up here. The sun is because the illumination is illuminating your shadow, which is the devil energy we're talking about. Page of pentacles, again, this has to do with the steps. You being really strategic about your communication, knowing that anything you do will affect the outcome two months down the line, three months down the line, six months down the line. And when we're talking about the ace, like I said, a year down the line. So to me, the sustained focus, there goes your energy, Leo. Don't get all caught up with the confusion here. Yep. And there goes that devil energy. So I feel right here, it's saying you. So I'm saying you, my Leos. Okay. My lovely Leos that do not get caught up with the noise of the emotions of either other people or yourself because it's a projection and stay confident, stay clear and stay focused because it can interfere. So again, spirit is taking me back here to the star. We need to stay focused on our star, star here, our North node. And that's why they're saying the timing is right to make the long-term plans for a joyful future, right? So you're making, stay focused on the long-term plan here of what this Ace of Pentacles is as well. So give me more of this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, movement. And there you go again. <laughs> Strength and the devil. Again, I feel like Spirit is going to hit this one in, in like our heads today. So I'm not going to beat it down too much, my Leos. But this is about movement, eight of wands, and there will be quick change. There'll be a lot of communication. This is, again, being strategic about your communication, who you're dealing with, even if it's a commitment. I think we need to be more mindful of 
of what our expectations are and what what the actual outcome we want, right? The results. So let me get more of this Eight of Wands. Get more of this Eight of Wands. Two of Wands. Yeah. So this is being decisive again. King of Pentacles. So there's a lot about your money. There's a lot about your bag. This is also what you're committed to. Um, and again, your 3D life. So you want something in your 3D life to, to change. And this is about being mindful of the impact. So I think the focus here is definitely, let's see what this Five of Swords is. What is the conflict of feet? Because there's obviously interference. Give me more on this conflict and defeat. Give me more on this conflict and defeat. I'm going to get more information because I already see what's happening Give me more on this conflict and defeat. Oh, that flew out and I put it back. So the world on this page of pentacle, page of cups. Um, so conflict and defeat here. We've got nine of pentacles. I think this is your focus. I think you have, you need to be mindful of those around you. You have definitely um, envious energy because when you're minding your business and you're doing you, you're going to, the challenge will be the surrounding. So um, not enough supportive support system, five of pentacles, I feel, um, but this is judgment call. And I think that's that three of pentacles that I was talking about where, you know what, F them, Leo, you know, those who are either giving you a hard time or not showing you the support, don't get defensive, don't match their energy, you're doing fine on your own, it may get lonely. And I think that's really what's happening here, where it just kind of reminds you sometimes because of your level of loyalty and wanting to do good and caring that the people around you do good as well. Um, it just kind of will make your shadow aspects show because, you know, it's like frustrating when people want to come and kind of be against you, but judgment call on them so you don't really have to do anything because spirit knows. And it's really this mirroring that we're talking about is to show you who's, who's your support system and who isn't. So let me see more on this Five of Pentacles. Give me more on this Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's that Seven of Cups energy again. So we saw it with the devil and it's just, I feel there's, this is all that noise that is trying to interfere with your emotions to get you off balance from this solid Nine of Pentacles energy. Give me more on this judgment. And Spirit is just showing you. Spirit is definitely showing you with this judgment. Yep, the lovers. Yep, injustice. Beautiful. I mean, are you kidding me? Three major arcanas. Spirit is showing you who these connections are. This could be a person who doesn't acknowledge you. Again, you guys put with the shoe fits if this is a relationship. But this could be family, friends, um, work environment. But this justice is to remind you right? You kind of have to clean house, I feel, as this Nine of Pentacles. So um, these, this eclipse is to remind you. The lovers, to me, is always an ascension to the universe, ascension to um, spirit, to our soul, to our higher soul. It awakens us, right? Judgment and lovers is an awakening and justice to bring you back to balance, um, bring things back to order, bring the proper soul contracts into order and clean out all those soul contracts that do not fit. So I think this justice is here. You you know, I think for a lot of you, this defensive energy um, was kind of taken over only because you're tired. You're tired and it's just annoying, right? <laughs> it's freaking annoying. People need to get out the way. So let's see this Taurus energy. Why, why is the heart from here? Yeah, Three of Pentacles, again, your people and tempering. You're constantly tempering the noise. Three of Pentacles, the people around you. Um, I also feel, because this is like, Hierophant can be a small group that we are aligned with, that we all believe the same thing to. And for a period, yes, that existed with this Three of Cups. But I feel like things are falling out of alignment right now with the people in your life. 
or someone in your life or a work environment in your life or something that you're constantly needing to temper yourself. So we're back again with you here and the devil with the seven of cups. And I'm going to shuffle this time um, because I just didn't feel the need to shuffle. But I find it funny that it keeps reappearing because to tell you the truth to me, it's the same message. So um, let's give this a quick shuffle. Um, I'm going to clarify more with the other deck as well. So let's see. What is this three of cups? Spirit game one is three of cups unexpected and yeah what's hidden the in the high priestess so the knight of swords clarifying the three of cups clarified by the knight of swords and the high priestess there's so much like um you're constantly tempering this hostile energy like and it's secretive and it's kind of like i feel some malice with this high priestess give me more this high priestess you know, where it's just not really supportive. Yeah, again, and so be careful. And it's who we're loyal to. And there goes that tower. So it, it could be just poor communication. Um, I just feel like, again, we're back to that page of pentacle energy where you're being illuminated on, on, again, be strategic. you also being smart with your intuition. How do you approach these energies? Um, even if this, let's say this is a work environment, how do you temper yourself to approach these three of cups, whoever you're kind of dealing with, to keep things um, uh, at peace, right? Because three of cups could be reconciling. So you're kind of reconciling um, different energies as the high priestess with your intuition and approaching it very strategic. Like we talked about with this page of pentacles, um, even if they come to me, to you very snarty or, you know, but you're getting to see who these clowns are and who you're going to be able to, who is really aligned with you. I want to point out death did pop up when I shuffled. So there is an ending here. Um, so let's see what this third eye is, please. What is the third chakra? I the third eye. Yeah, it's showing you beautiful. I cannot, when spirit comes and speaks and we're back at the same energy, you guys. Ten of swords five of wands and the sun we already saw the sun so again it's the, the illumination what's being shown to you is the illumination of all these conflicting energies in your life that you kind of need to not allow them to mentally disturb you or disrupt your peace or your positive energy you've got to be much bigger be more strategic again like we spoke about with this page of pentacles you know it's obviously two of cups here right be mindful of who these people are four of swords think about it spend a lot of time alone in this card the two of cups says make love not war keep the peace and honestly that's just really what this message is i'm not gonna like pound it down on you but let's see sir let's see what's the abundance energy for december for my leos because i think you guys already get the gist of what's happening here and at this point, this is for you. Spirit just wants you. They're showing you. This is a reflection. And at this point, you need to be you. You need to maintain this Ace of Pentacles energy. You've got aces here. So you're you're looking at your stability. This is your focus. So what do we got here? Focus. Exactly. Focus on your priorities. This is you. This do you boo-boos. Okay, my Leos. This is this whatever these clowns are no right don't let them get in you don't let them try to knock you down either so when you put your focus in is where you receive your outcome your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve right so if you give the anxiety the attention then it's like ugh, it's going to disturb you and disrupt you so even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident um, and i just really think that's really the gist of this reading you guys focus on your priorities and focus on you what other guidance for our lovely leos please Seek help. So the situation requires professional insight. You're being guided to find a counselor, mentor, coach, psychologist, doctor to get you through this pain. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. You will get there. Hang on. You know, maybe 
um, I really just feel maybe this is about work or something in terms of like <sighs> kind of resolving your own internal struggle with even if let's say these were people that were loyal to you, you were loyal to so um, definitely seek help sometimes it could just be something on your own there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there, right, where we get information to raise our vibration, to make sure, you know, to for us, we don't feel alone. Because like I said, this Nine of Pentacles can be a lonely energy. I mean, I mean, even me having this YouTube, I don't have no friends that have YouTube channels, but it gets lonely, you know. And so sometimes we need um, supports in other ways to be able to, like, get us, get our minds right, our creative flows right, right. So let me get you one more guidance. And, you know, for others of you, if this is, has to do with a relationship connection, then, yeah, maybe a counselor to help you got, um, navigate through this defensive energy about you or your person on how to better have better resolution. So celebration. Oh, my God. You guys, look at this. You got celebration twice. So I really just think this is your focus, Leos, right? So the, there are wonderful times ahead. To see the light at the end of the tunnel is a sight worth celebrating. Take note on how it shines on you. That is this, right? We talked about it so much. The light is definitely at the end of the tunnel. There, do not let anyone be strategic, like we said with this page. My kind of goes, don't let anyone interfere this, my Leos. So I'm going to leave it right there. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.